in this full exercise there is one commonality which is like a one difference which was not there in the previous exercises agar aap isme notice karo that uh, over here x y are in numerator x y are in numerator if i go back and check out some of the questions which are in fraction also let us go back can we see over here x yes. is in numerator numbers are in denominator can you see this yes okay let me show one more question over here see over here x and y the variable is in numerator s and t variable is in numerator numbers are in denominator in such questions we used to take lcm yes or no yes but over here if you observe variables are in denominator so okay so there is a special way of doing such questions now observe the first question so this particular question i'm saying the first question if you see that first question over here is 1 upon x and over here also it is 1 upon x 1 upon y 1 upon y okay similarly in the second question uh, i can say 2 into 1 so we call it 1 upon root x 1 upon root y 1 upon root x 1 upon root y can you see that commonality yes in the third question it is 1 upon x 1 upon x and y is in numerator only no. yes or no yes fourth question what is the commonality can you tell me uh, fourth both both denominator and numerator of both equation 1 and 2 are same same what is the commonality i am asking again x and y are in denominator x no and... no 1 upon x minus 1 1 upon x minus 1 are same 1 upon x minus 2 1 upon x minus 2 are same so the language which i am using just be careful okay so just ignore uh, question number 5 and 6 i will discuss once again now quickly tell me what is the commonality in the seventh question seventh question 1 upon x plus y 1 upon x plus y and 1 upon x minus 1 1 upon x minus 1 very good very good uh, what are, what is the commonality in the eighth question commonality so 1 upon x plus y 1 upon x plus y But two may wait. Can you see one upon three x plus y, one upon three x plus yes. y same? And over here, one upon three x minus y, one upon three x minus y same. Yes or no? Yes. Now why I am discussing all of this? So what we will do? The first step would be the common thing. We will do it like this. So let me just reduce those. Yes. Let one upon x equals to m. Some teachers use m. Some teachers use p q. Anything you can use. Okay. Yes. And one upon y is equals to n. Is this thing clear? Yes. Now, the first question: Can I write this thing as two n? One upon two bracket one upon x the commonality thing. Okay. Plus one upon three into one upon y equals to two. Can I write like this? Yes. Yeah. And this will become one upon two multiplied by m. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. 
so which will ultimately become m upon 2 okay and this part this part will become n upon 3 equals to 2 is this thing clear okay yes is this thing clear yes okay how can i write this question this part uh, this part 1 upon 3 1 upon x 1 upon 2 1 upon y equals to 13 upon 6. Yes. And this can be written as 1 upon 3 into m, which will become m upon 3, and this will become n upon 2 equals to 13 upon 6. Clear? Yes. Now. Now, if you observe these two equations which we have created just now, in this the numbers are in denominator and variable is in numerator. Yes. Make sense? Yes. So what I will do? I will just solve this thing. Take LCM. So three yes. M. Sorry for this. Yeah. So three M plus Two n equals to two into six, twelve. So this becomes my first equation. Over here, two m plus three n, thirteen upon six multiplied by six, six six getting cancelled. So only thirteen will be remaining. So this becomes my second equation. Make sense? Yes. so we'll do elimination method or substitution method any other method whatever i like and solve the value of m and n let us quickly solve this thing i'm writing this first equation below this to make it quicker so i'll just multiply uh, this by 3 and this by 2 so i'll get 6m plus 9n equals to 39 Over here, I will get six m plus four n equals to twenty four. Yes or no? Yes. Am I right? Negative, negative, negative. So six m, six m getting cancelled. And over here, nine minus four, five n. Thirty nine minus twenty four will give me six plus nine. Six plus nine, fifteen. So n equals to three. Okay, I'll substitute in second. What will I get? Quickly help me. Two m plus nine equals to thirteen, and thirteen uh, minus nine is four is two. Now remember one thing. Question originally was n x and y. Can you see that? Yes. Question was n x and y. Yes. So no. Yes. So I have to find the value of x and y at the end. So what I will do over here? Therefore, one upon x equals to what is the value of m? So the value of m is. Can you see this? Sorry. Yes. Yes. So value of m is two. So two. I will just do the reciprocal on both the side. Okay. Reciprocal on both the side. So x equals to one upon two. Clear. Yes. So therefore, one upon y, one upon y would be equals to n. n. That is three. One upon three. So y three. equals to one upon three. Okay. So yes. Quickly take a screenshot of this page. Okay. 
and i will do one more question based on this thing. okay yeah quickly take a screenshot done yeah yeah so i'll just one second select all so So you tell me which part should I do? I think I should do maybe you tell me quickly. Fourth. 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 Okay, let's do the fourth part. Fourth part. Now, what is the commonality? One upon x minus one and uh, one upon y minus. So one upon x minus one equals to m. And one upon y minus two is equals to n. Is this thing clear? Yes. Now, how can I write this question? Five. Five. Multiply by. Multiply by. Multiply by one upon x minus one. Very plus good. One. Multiply by one upon y minus. Very good. So whatever is the commonality, make sure you write in the bracket. Okay. So this will become five multiply by m. Yes or no? Yes. So five m, and this will become one multiply by n, n. which is n. So this becomes my first okay. equation. Okay, make sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now this one, let me change the color to be specific. So this will become six m minus three n. Six m minus three n equals to one. This will become my second. There is no need of writing this way, but I write this way to make you understand. See, therefore, just look at the first question. Over here, the number was in denominator. That's why it was coming as m upon two. Yes. N upon three. Remember? Mm. Yes. Whereas over here, the number is in numerator. Therefore, it is coming as five m n plus equals to two. Yes. Any doubt in this? No. Now. I will do uh, same thing. Elimination method. Uh, first equation is three to multiply. Yes, I'll multiply the first equation by three because I'm going to make n same. Yes. So it will become fifteen m plus three n equals to six. 6m minus 3n equals to 1. Do I need to change the sign? Uh, no. No, because sign are already different. In the yes. previous question, uh, signs were yes. same. So I had to change the sign of the second equation fully. Now I will not change the sign. And I will just cancel the sign. And 15 plus... 21. 6, uh, 6 would be 21. M equals to 7. M equals to 1 upon 3. Clear? M equals to 1 upon 3. I'll substitute in 1. Substitute in 1. 5 into 1 upon 3 plus N equals to 2. Okay? So n equals to two minus five upon three. N equals to six minus five upon three. N equals to one upon three. Once again, one upon three. Okay, I'll come over here on the right hand side. Therefore, one upon x minus one equals to one upon three. So reciprocal both the sides. So x minus one upon three. We can do a cross multiplication. Yes, you can do cross multiplication also, but I generally take reciprocal. 
So this becomes my third equation. No, this can be solved. No? Yeah, sorry, this can be solved. So x equals to 4. Okay. Therefore, 1 upon y minus 2 equals to 1 upon 3. Reciprocal y equals to 5. Done? Yes. Now, before we end this topic, if you observe this seventh part, there is x plus y. So what will happen at the end? You will get another equation over here. And once you get equation over there, you need to again do elimination method. Okay. okay. You will have to again do elimination method. You will find x and y. So quickly take a screenshot and uh, do this question. Do the eighth question for me and send it to me.